Hey, what's up everybody? It's Isaac Barris bringing you the word of the day. Today's word of the day is EMD or earnest money deposit or better known as good faith deposit. Now, what an EMD simply is, it's the funds, which basically is a form of a wire cashier's check, never bring cash, that you're gonna hand over to the escrow company um, on behalf of a buyer to purchase a seller's property. You never wanna give the EMD monies to a stranger or the seller directly. You wanna deposit that in escrow. And if you watch another video that we did explaining what escrow does and what it is and what the word was, because it was one of our word of the days, you gotta check that out. So like always, I'm gonna let you take your time and let Google do its thing. So Google, take it away. <laughs> You're back. All right. So. Earnest money deposit or EMD is the money to basically show a seller that, hey, you have all the abilities to be able to buy a property and you're putting your money on the line. I mean, you are writing a contract, right? So essentially what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that contract's solid by having some really good terms and conditions, but also showing how serious you are. So typically the higher the earnest money deposit, typically says that you're willing to risk it all and guess what, put it on the line. Now, can you lose your earnest money deposit? Well, before we go there, let's just start with this. When you put that deposit down, that money is held in escrow so that when it comes time to close escrow, it's gonna be either applied to the purchase price, uh, if you're working with a lender, your closing fees, since you're working with town on escrow, their fees, uh, and or down payment. So that money doesn't just go in the seller's pocket, it gets applied towards the purchase for you. Now, with respect to can you lose it, that's a hot topic and a lot of people don't understand this. It depends on your offer. It depends on the type of offer you've written in addition to can you secure a loan and most importantly, close escrow. Depending on your conditions or contingencies that you've written in your offer, that will be the time test to understand that whether or not that deposit can be forfeited, which we'll get into another video, but I just want you guys to understand, can you lose it? Absolutely. Can you get it back? Absolutely. Does it give you much hope? That's why you gotta watch the next video. Take care.